and welcome to the School Board Report. I'm Kelsey McClellan, and joining me today is School Board President John Landers. Welcome. Thank you, Kelsey. Great to be back. Now to start us off, I understand that before spring break, the district hired a new treasurer. Can you tell us about him? Sure. For the last several months, we've been operating with an interim treasurer, Ryan Jones, from the Mahoney County Educational Service Center, and, and we thank him you know, for his service while we were continuing our, our search and looking for a new treasurer. Several weeks ago, we hired A.J. Gennetti uh, as our new treasurer for the school district. He comes with 11 years of experience, uh, and especially in similar size districts, which was important to us. As a board, we wanted someone with that experience of being in a treasurer, and especially also in a, a similar school district size and budget uh, to ours. So he spent some time in the Struthers uh, schools, and then Austin Town, and most recently in, in Youngstown City. You know, we're a good sized school district, you know, with a, a large budget and having someone that can hit the ground running, as well as work well with us, the board, as, as well as our leadership team and our principals was very important to us. So we're, we're ready and excited to welcome him to the Spartan family. And his first day is on Monday, May 2nd. Spring break was filled with activity from some of our sports teams and the marching band. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure, there's a, a couple of trips that we want to highlight. I, I'm sure the, the weather played a factor and, and them wanting to travel was you know, not the greatest spring break weather back here in, in Boardman, but our, our boys baseball team spent the week in Myrtle Beach, had the opportunity to play, you know, I think games almost every day uh, with fantastic weather and played hard uh, you know, against some good competition. Our girls softball team was in Sarasota, Florida, uh, you know, playing I think games every day there you know, with the weather and with teams from uh, across the country in different states. And lastly, our, our marching band uh, performed in both Nashville and, and Graceland. You know, I think these uh, experiences are, are just invaluable. It's about you know developing those friendships, those memories. You know that, you know when you're you're older like me and at your 20 year reunion. You know those are the things that you talk about with your friends, and you get the opportunity to develop those lifelong friendships and just and travel and see parts uh, of the country. You know that you may not have had the opportunity to see yet. So. We're glad to support those and, and thankful to the families and the teams that you know made the trip. Yeah, very exciting. A safety grant and ESSER funds due to COVID have helped the district make some major safety improvements in our buildings. Can you tell us about some of these improvements? Sure. I think as, as a team, you know, we continue to, to keep our eye out for, for grants, you know, to um, augment our, our funding. Uh, you know, we had the opportunity through ESSER funding as well uh, to put some money towards facility improvements. And we also have a permanent improvement levy. I think an important thing for us is, you know, not to necessarily drive, uh, create new legacy costs, costs that occur year to year. You know, we want to continue to be fiscally responsible to our, our community and our, our taxpayers. So, you know, a lot of these, you know, we aim to be one-time costs. So all of our buildings have had their water fountains uh, replaced with water, water bottle fillers. You know, I think our students and staff uh, like these much better. I think, you know, we're always carrying around a water bottle and they're a much healthier option over the old style fountains. Um, we have many, many security cameras across all of our districts and we upgraded those across all six of our buildings. And in fact, right before break, uh, we had 22 new cameras uh, installed at center. And we've also ordered door barricade devices uh, for all classroom doors across the district. Once again, you know, we just want to highlight that these came from ESSER funds, as well as a school safety grant uh, that we pursued. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Sure. You know, I think as we get into late April and, and May, the calendar is, there's always a school event going on, whether it be a concert or a sporting event or, or something to recognize our up upcoming graduating seniors. But recently we held STEAM Night at Glenwood, uh, which is a new kind of tradition or event they've started in the last several years. So we were really happy to have that uh, right right before break and I think it was a big success and we really pushed it out to the community as well to let people see all the great things our team is doing at Glenwood. And next week our BHS choral concert is on May 4th at the BPAC and they plan to pay tribute to Errol Kerber uh, who recently passed away and was a, a longtime supporter and, and teacher of our Spartan music programs you know and I'm sure you know many current and recent students as well as uh, alumni from years past will, will hopefully try to be there to, to recognize all of his service uh, to the school district. Well, thank you for joining us today, Mr. Landers. The Borman School Board meets the fourth Monday of every month at 6.30 at Borman High School. The next scheduled board meeting is Monday, May 24th, and the public is always welcome. For BSCN, I'm Kelsey McCollum. Have a great day.